Hello, my wonderful viewers. Welcome to my platform. This is Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of coming across this channel and you like what you see, after watching, please subscribe, put on your notification bell, set it to all notification. In that way, you'll be able to get notified each time I upload a new video, even those without notification. Here we react to all forms of videos, international and local. Every Saturday by 2 p.m. we have our interaction section. You are free to call in to air your opinion about the happenings in our society. Invite your friends, share my videos with your families and colleagues. Do not keep this information to yourself. Myself, I will be sitting down here to watch this video together with you from the beginning to the end. Then we'll go to the comment section and leave our comment, our opinion about the video we we'll watch constructively as we watch this video, my people. Pleading with the Western world, begging them seriously to tag an indigenous people of Biafra a terrorist organization globally you know so we'll be talking about that and how they wanted to use anambra this past anambra election you know to perfect the plan of you know achieving that aim but it didn't work so in the north and how the north is being devastated right now in fact as i'm talking to you there is a petition that is going on uh, going on right now uh calling the people of the world to come and save the north uh this petition is being put together by isha yusuf i came across it this evening where he's promoting and asking people to sign the petition to save the north that is to tell you the level of devastation the level of devastation the level of destruction that is going on there we talked about uh you know we saw the movement of people from one place to the other but you know we still be playing fresh clips Fresh clips, uh, not a youth are even crying on the street, begging uh, for security. Uh, the clip is all over social media, but we're going to bring it forward and analyze it in our own way. And we can tell you that the North have completely lost it. And uh, what they want to do now is to find a way to, uh, you know, bring this insecurity down to us. That is why they sent also the, the military to continued abating their crime and we also have al zazaki who said that no difference between nigeria security and terrorists i'll be reading out these articles uh, as this uh, as this uh, program moves forward as it move on i'll be reading two articles the uh, federal government of the zoo nigeria um uh urging western their western allies to tag IPOB, a terrorist organization, and El Zazaki also confirming that there's no difference between the Nigerian security forces and terrorists. So I'll be reading it. Then we'll we have a lot of work in our hand this uh, this week, and we need to you know make our people understand the need for everybody to be awake because time for complaint, time for backbiting should be over by now. Mazi, do you have anything to say before we proceed? Not really. We uh, we come to do justice uh, to the topic that we have today, and then to educate our people, and also update them about the current situation of things in Nigeria. You know, because without some of this uh, exposition and uh, educating our people, you know, some of them they want to go and. Uh, Mazi, you are with us, your life. Mazi Solomon, your life. Welcome to the program. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mazi Patrick. You know, yeah. what really happened is that um, um, I just pick up the toothpick and uh, I say, let me just uh, remove something from my toothpick. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. yeah, yeah. You just watch out. You just watch out. You just watch out. You see, you watch out. I say, you watch out. So we have to, no, 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 you know, when aspect. people see us, when people see us, they think we don't have our private lives. You no. know, they believe yeah. they are just in the media that we are ghosts. We are not ghosts. We are like yeah. every other human being. Uh, we yeah. make out yeah. our time to make, to bring some of these things and make all the ultimate sacrifices, presenting ourselves as a, as a sacrificial lamb for this journey. Yeah. Mazi, you are quite looking better today than yesterday. 
<laughs> yes, uh, because I'm I'm using a, a laptop today. Um, it wasn't a phone, so uh, it's more better with the laptop. I yeah. think so. It's just like um, my wife was busy with the laptop yesterday. I couldn't use it. And um, the system in the office is not uh, connected. So uh, that's why I try to manage the phone. But um, as time goes on, we will we, we get better. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mazi. I know, I, know, I know what you can do. Um, I want to encourage our people who are following us to share this program, please. Uh, share this program, make it go around. Continue to share this program. I want to see uh, many of our people joining us uh, in this program. Mazi Solomon, there are two articles I would want to read. And when I re finish reading these articles, I also want to play some videos. It depends if we have the time. If not, we'll come back tomorrow and continue. But let me read the first article by uh, Tribune Newspaper. Uh, no difference between Nigeria's securities and the terrorists. Al Zazaki, the leader of the Islamic movement of Nigeria, IMN, Sheikh Ibrahim Al Zazaki, has accused the Nigerian securities of appearing like terrorists while on mission. The Islamic cleric who said this at the sixth anniversary of Zaria massacre accused the Nigerian army of killing over 1,000 of his followers in Zaria and took away their bodies. Exactly what happened in Lekki. People were killed and their bodies taken away. Men in uniform are sent to unleash terror on, on people. Soldier, pol soldiers, policemen, and secret police who do not wear uniforms. In fact, nowadays they even wear terrorist garments. Meaning they hide their own faces in the same way terrorists do. Just like you see the unknown government in our land today where a, a police have killed a DSS uh, officer to now discover it was a killed an unknown gunman to discover it was a DSS uh, uh, personnel who dressed you know like an unknown gunman this is what Al Zazaki is trying to point out the state has become an instrument of terrorism that it has taught the people to be violent people have been forced due to circumstances to become violent because the state has become violent. We are talking about rights. We have to understand that this society can be in order unless those. This society can't be in, can be in order unless those in authority respect the right of other people. Those in authority think they are the law, or rather above the law, that they can take the life of anybody at any moment. They, are about, they care about no amount of talk. Yes, preaching or advice. They don't take advice. They don't, no matter even the one we are talking here, they don't care, but we'll keep talking. They don't simply care. They are indifferent to what happens to other people, he said. He said in Nigeria, the right to life, which is fundamental human right, has been taken away from the citizens. 100% correct. This right to life, including other rights, is a shrine in the Nigerian constitution. Quit those. In authority always swear to protect. They swear in the holy book. They believe in Quran, the holy Quran and the Bible. Alas, we find in present society to the right of life actually taken away. Those in authority think that they have the right to take the life of anyone at any, any moment. Extrajudicial killings have become an order of the day. Instrument of law enforcement that are employed to protect the law and and the, to protect the law are now being used by those in authority to violate the law. See what is happening now in the society, in which everybody seems to be in a state of fear, including those in authority. Of course, because they will never have peace if other people are not in peace as well. So. The most important right which everybody must protect is the right to life. You don't have the right to take the life of others. You don't ha even have the right to take your own life. Nobody has the right to commit suicide. You can't have the right to commit abortion because if your mother had aborted you, you would not have been alive. Nobody has the right to take the life of anybody. 
Similarly, there is this right of environment, there is right of, and if he continues, he continues a long, quite a long, but Mazi, we see what is happening. Most of the things he's saying are things that are happening up north. And we also see the same trend in Biafala where security forces are operating as we are talking right now. There are some communities in Imo State who are under siege in this moment. Military killing people, shooting aside, anything standing. Even killing women, children, anybody thing that moves. Mazi, what do you have to say about the Azazaki? You know, he's not out of detention, so he has a right to speak now. And he's, you know, he has continued on that part of criticism. Who is not even crying in Nigeria? Okay, before I go ahead this morning, I need to uh, introduce myself for people who are joining us for the new time, for the first time. Um, it's good you share these very programs. Yes, you welcome yourself, welcome your friends and family. Uh, my name is Solomon Peter, and uh, um, we are here again to do some certain analysis and also uh, a way of educating our people and uh, uh, making bringing everybody to some certain level of understanding that will enable you into uh, human development. So as I was saying yesterday about, <clears throat> about our struggle for Biafra, that our struggle for Biafra is supposed to be an educative platform, uh, a human empowerment and a human development. And how do we come to that very point is, uh, how do we come to that very point? is what I'm going to break down before I come back to what Ezezaki is saying, because everybody is in the position of Ezezaki. It's not a new thing, but this is a confirmation when we begin to say things and when we begin to analyze. And it's a confirmation to what Mazin Nadekano has told Nigerians and has told Africa and has told Biafrans. So it's a confirmation to the message that have already been on the ground. That's why we try to go around all these things so that you can be able to understand that as we they talk, it they happen. So if you if you are living in the world where you have people who has told you one thing per time and it all happened the way they tell you and it's all happening the way they tell you, that simply means that you are you should that you should be able to develop uh, uh, an understanding around what those people are trying to tell you more. So that is where we are in now. So I'm saying that the struggle for Biafra should be a struggle for empowerment, for human empowerment, human development. You know, it, it should be a, revolu a revolution. Because when you said a revolution, the people always think that it is time to kill people, burn building. No, there are several revolu revolutions which are, which are, which is the process of human development, human development. A process of human development. So now when we talk about the struggle for Biafra, it should be a struggle that that it should be a struggle that impact knowledge. It should be a struggle that develop human. It should be a, a, a struggle, a kind of a struggle that empowered human being. So where did we come at that is this. Now when we are talking about the struggle of Biafra, like one of the questions I need to treat I need to treat from people who always comment from the comment session. Action, we need action, we need action. Now, what does action entails? The actions entails in this very struggle for Biafra, you should be aspired, you should be aspired for one thing. What are, the, uh, what are that particular things that you are aspired on right now? At the result, for the result, at the result of this struggle for Biafra, you see that so many people in this struggle for Biafra has been inspired in the music industry. Music industry. They have been inspired in music industry. Some people, because of the struggle of Biafra, has been inspired to be one of the doctor, to be one of the, the well-trained uh, 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 the, the, the defense, defense person, or you can say a military person. Some people have taken different courses, different courses and different training training to skill because of the struggle for Biafra. So this is what Biafra is all about, providing solution 
What solution can you be able to provide to society? What solution can you be able to provide as an individual, as an individual to improve the life of the next person standing behind you or the life of the next person standing in front of you or even behind you? What skill, what decision, what decisions have you taken? What decisions have you taken to empower yourself to unveil yourself, to even subject yourself. Let's take, for instance, you see the decision that Mazin Nandekano has took one day in his life to be able to stand out for the struggle for this very Biafra. And he gave all to it. He gave all to it. This is what, and he gave all to it. This is what the struggle of Biafra is all about. You get inspired on one thing. You get inspired on one thing and you stand on it and you developed yourself as a human being in a capacity on that your decision. In a capacity in that your decision. We must know that Biafran did not gather the whole Southeast and the whole Biafran did not gather to go to Mazen and the Kano's house to drag him out or, uh, or to call him out. Come and lead the struggle. Come and broadcast in Radio Biafra. Come and, uh, and uh, be the, uh, the leader of IPOP. Nobody dragged him out, but it's a decision based on the struggle. That is what the struggle for Biafra brought upon him individually. And he made a decision to be able to develop himself onto that very capacity as to be useful to his people, as to be useful to the millions of people who are sympathetic and are his followers today. So now when I talk about what the struggle of Biafra should be all about for people who are asking for action and yet they are not standing out, they are not making decision, there is nothing, there is no journey, there is no particular course that they have taken individually as to what the struggle has brought upon them and still they want action. Where will action come from? Because there can never be action without a skill. Now, you are asking for action, you are asking for action, but for the cause of this very struggle, you have not taken any decision, you have not taken any stand. You cannot even say that I am making everything possible to be a lawyer or to be a, uh, or to be a doctor or to be a defense person or one skill or the other. You have not even made a decision, but you want action. Where will action come? Because there would have not been action if Mazin Nandekano in his room, in his tiny room on that day, if, if he did not come to the decision to take the journey this way that he took it this, uh, the, he took it today, he, we could have not heard of him. He could have not made any contribution. So the struggle for Biafra is all about human empowerment. And when you think about the Biafran, when you think about Biafran's uh, struggle, when you think about uh, um, uh, uh, liberation of Biafran, restoration of Biafran country, you should be thinking of what can I do? What can I do to improve myself as to be but, but, Because it requires a lot of human, it, it requires a lot of human capacity to execute the, the, the job. You know, I have exactly. Seen that that part, I know that I have taken your time to do this, but yeah, go ahead, go ahead, I, want no to, problem. I want to learn to the questions which you have thrown uh, to me yes. as regard to what Ezezaki is uh, is saying, uh, uh, talking here. Now, I say that this is the position of almost everybody in the country today. Everybody in Nigeria, this is the same position they have find themselves because Nigeria has become a fell state. It has become a fell state. And these are all the signs that you need. These are all the signs that you need to see for you to be able to understand which state has failed. It's a result of the failure of Nigeria as a state that today everybody are the, in the, the, kind of the crisis, symptoms are all over the place. Yes, the crying out for insecurity, place. crying out for uh, 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 the, uh, people disrespecting fundamental human right, which are the things that they are practicing today in keeping Mazin and the Kano in DSS dungeon. These are part of it. These are what they are practicing by going as far as Kenya to do extraordinary redemptions of Mazin and the Kano. These are all results that when the state cannot be able to subject themselves under the rule of law, that when state cannot be able to maintain their law, 
when state cannot be able to even to maintain the treaty they sign with other nations then these yes. are the sign of failure and that is what Ezezaki is trying to push out here that at the result of the failure of nigeria human life has become useless human life has become no human life has become no value in nigeria that even the, people you, even the people you claim to be trained as military or trained as a police they have no regard for human life because there is loneliness there is failure of the government and the failure of the agent of the government thank you Mazipa. let me just take it like this so that thank you very much we saw you. we saw in the situation of the extraordinary rendition of mazin and the how uh the the the, the, the state the nigerian say acted you know, with this impunity, uh, you know, crossing their border to go and perpetrate insecurity in another country. You know, so they, they are not, the, the question of the insecurity now is not even a local problem that they have created for themselves. They have transported it. They have exported this insecurity by going to Kenya, kidnapping people uh, all over the place. You know, so it had becomes uh, a, 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 a transnational issue because the failure of Nigeria, that is why we said that the failure of Nigeria is going to be the failure of the whole of Africa. And we can see that failure in the way they went to Kenya. They didn't even obey the law of Kenya. They went and abducted Mazenam the Canon. They didn't bother to go to the judiciary in Kenya. They took this their failure to Kenya. And that is why we are saying that the, the African Union must intervene to resolve the Nigerian crisis through the demand of the indigenous people of Biafra for referendum to be conducted. Because the criminality of the Nigerian, the, this um, individual that are running this government, they have transported this criminality from Nigeria to Kenya. As Azaki said, that even the military, the police are now putting on the regalia of terrorists, Boko Haram and bandits, killing people. And we saw that in Imo State, where um, an unknown gunman was killed. And they later discovered that he was a DSS agent because he became DSS, have turned themselves to unknown gunmen. Mazi, there is an article I want to read that is very, very important. And I'm happy that you're here. Unfortunately, Mazi, I hope he returns back soon. Uh, Mazi, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I am with you. I know, I know you are going to the comment section. I want to read, I want to read this article. FG urges Western allies to declare bandits Boko Haram, IPOB as terrorist. President Buhari, senior advice on media. This is from Legit News. President Buhari, senior special assistant on media and publicity. Gadba Shehu said the government has all the Western allies to declare these groups as terrorist organizations. Gadba Shehu noted that the government was doing all it can to arrest the wanton killing going on in the country. She will have pointed out that Nigeria's situation isn't so unique as other African countries too are also experiencing the same level of killing. Where in Africa is experiencing the level of killing like in Nigeria? No other place. Uh, FCT Abuja call has gone out from the federal government to, to Western allies on the need to declare bandits as well as Islamic sect as azaki again boko haram as terrorist organization thank you so much for watching this video together with me like i said before if it is your first time of coming across my youtube channel and you like what i do please subscribe put on your notification bell share this video leave your comment in the comment section you are free to criticize but let us do it always constructively remain blessed i appreciate your massive support and i love and cherish each and every one of you until I meet you again in my next video, for now I will say bye-bye.